watching what to know before you try to attempt to install a tub. First off, most tubs are standard 60 inches by 30. We increase this one to a 32 inch in width. That way we got a bigger tub. Also, if you buy a tub for about four or $500 range, it's gonna be flimsy. So when you push on this, it's solid. This is fiberglass, it's lightweight. So if you're gonna attempt to do this by yourself, don't buy cast tub. iron tubs because they got nice prices at three, four, five hundred dollars. Yes, it's going to be solid, but it's going to be extremely heavy. If you got two people helping you, then you could take it on. Also, if you got a vinyl floor, make sure to keep that quarter inch gap. You do not lay the tub on this. This is going to get cut out. That way the floating floor can continue to expand and contract. If you don't know about that, I just saved your butt. <laughs> or else your, your floor would have been buckling. Okay, next. So 60 inches is not gonna fit in your um, drywall. So that drywall right here is gonna come up to here. So you see what I'm saying? That is pretty much gonna be touching that. So you're gonna have to rip the drywall out. And in order to get one of these, I think they call this style an alcove, being that there's no sides over here, nothing over there, and nothing over here. So to get this thing in, I actually had to rip the wall out over here. So when I went to go put it in, I laid it in and it went down. And then this joint right here actually was in the wall. And then when I set it, I was able to back it up and put it in place. I'll show you all the supplies I got. So there's a lot of prepping for going ahead and put one of these tubs in. So I did purchase two of these and I'll probably end up returning them. They are shutoffs, they're shark bites, where you can slide this on, shut the water off, and just let it sit, that way you can work on what you need to. But I was able to get my tub in here without putting in the shark bites and shutting off the water to have the two shutoffs that has no access panel anyways. So that was just in case I didn't want to run to the hardware store. Also, as I'm gonna go put backer board on here, it's mold resistant. So when you go to lay this, your backer board will sit here over this, that way when water hits it, it will drain down. So before I do that, I'm gonna put a plastic vapor barrier, which you can pick up on Amazon for like 20 bucks or something. The roll I got from Amazon, uh, it even says Amazon commercial. Anyways, 10 feet by 25 feet, six mil. I couldn't find anything like this in the big box stores with six mil. So six mil means the thickness, so it's very, very thick. This is a uh, tiling spacers. I got these off eBay. Let me show you what one of these looks like. It comes with a tool. Uh, you tuck this under the tile and then one tiles on this side one tiles on that side and you put this little thing in here and you crank it and it levels the tile so there's no lippage and people will think you did a perfect job and on the side of it it acts as a spacer you can get different thicknesses here for your grout joint. The little tool that it comes with to crank these things but just search on eBay I actually have it in the garage search on eBay um, tile leveling system tool and you'll it'll pop up for you if you guys are interested in that got the tile here got this from home depot i got a long for a big format tile i should say it's 24 inches this way and 12 inches that way that's what here's a picture of my diagram and how i'm going to do the plumbing uh oh you can't do that it's upside down <laughs> anyways i'll leave that in there i won't edit it out because who doesn't make mistakes right well, nobody's perfect Anyways, draw it out, draw out your diagram because having it drawn out and how you're gonna do your plumbing is gonna help you to go back and reference on stuff like that. So I actually have my hot and cold, hot's always on the left, cold's always on the right. I'm gonna convert it over to PEX piping. PEX is so easy to use if you've never done it. Just do it, it doesn't leak, you don't gotta sweat the pipes on with no torch or nothing like that. PEX will make you an instant plumber. Oh and buy some crap that made in China on eBay. I do buy a lot of stuff on eBay, but not these pieces here where you got water flowing through it. You don't know where they come from, so make sure you buy a credible name on supplies like that. So I just go to Home Depot with, for these ones or Menards, whatever the hell I bought. Anyways, got all the joints for the shower cartridge. I did pick this up on Amazon. This is awesome right here. Rainfall waterfall set. Sprayer. 
So this entire set here was like 150 or something. If you try to buy these from the big box store, you're getting price gouged. This would be like 400 bucks for this freaking thing. But this is a credible name, Kess. So look for something like that. I'll try to show you. This is the shower cartridge right here. This thing's a beast. You actually end up cutting this right here. It tells you right here, it says, it's better keeping the tile surface in the blue area. So you end up cutting this right here. This is the shower cartridge where you got, which way would it be? So hot is on the left. That's your hot. Cold is on the right. And then you got your shower head. This is gonna go up there and you got a rainfall. And then on the right side, you have shower sprayer. I'll show you that in a second. And then on your bottom, you got waterfall spout. All right, so there's the arm right there. Look at that arm. That's like 20 inches for your rainfall. This is your handheld shower sprayer. This is your wall plate. And over here, it's gonna turn from shower sprayer, rainfall, and then to the water spigot that's coming out. I'm calling it a spigot. I don't know what the hell it's called, but it's uh, in this gray bag. Check that out. The water's gonna come out. It's about eight inches like a waterfall coming out the uh, you know what I'm saying, into the tub, that's what I'm saying. And this huge 12 inch rainfall right above your head and it comes out 20 inches, that's awesome. Again, I picked that up on Amazon, made by Kess, you could find these. And they do come without the uh, shower sprayer or with different types of uh, whatever you call that, that I call the spigot. Spout, maybe it's a spout. Again, with my diagram, let me show you guys this real quick so you guys can just copy what I'm doing maybe. I'm not a hater, I'll let you guys copy that. So I'll go real slow for you guys, little ideas. I did put in LED lights um, in the wall and they're gonna run over to a niche in the shelf in the shower itself. And I put two lights in here and four lights in there. When you flip the switch, they RGB, red, green, blue. I'll show you that in a second too when I go back to the uh, bathroom. Pick those up off eBay and I think they were like maybe 50, 60 bucks. Just look for outdoor deck lights. And that's how I pick those up and I'll show you a picture of them, get the same ones. They even, you could purchase extension cords with them because as I put the two lights in the niche, in the wall, I needed a six foot extension cord. So the same guy who sold the lights also sold the extension cord. That way I can keep running um, the lights into the shower. So this is actually my kid's uh, bathroom that I'm remodeling. So it's cool for them when they hit the switch. Who doesn't like lights, right? So kids love those kind of lights. All right, elbows. Got all the elbows I needed. Um, the shower spout and the shower rainfall will need one each of these and you got screws over here, make sure you get the ones with the screws so you can mount them to the back so they're solid and somebody doesn't hang on them and break it. Uh, other supplies I got, crimping tools. If you've never done PEX piping, this is a crimp, a crimping clinch, whatever the heck they call it, clinch clamp. So you put these around PEX piping. What else is there in here? This is good for beginners because you can ne have never uh, done this before. Glue Monster thread tape. Put that around about four times, I'd say, three to four times. This is some good stuff. You can use the cheap stuff if you want, but if it's your home, I recommend you go and buy the good uh, thread tape around your piping if you're going to be turning them in. The only part I'm going to need that for is right in here. When I wrap that around uh, this type of joint, where the hell did it go in here? Oh, here we go. Right there. So I'll wrap that around and make sure you, it only goes on a certain way. If you go, I think it's clockwise. If you wrap it around, you actually, oh, counterclockwise. Cause if you do it clockwise, you go do this and the stuff will start to unravel and you will not get a good seal. So make sure that you put it on the correct way. It has to finish this way because you're actually turning this this way. If that makes any sense. Jesus, I'm not the best teacher, but I sure as hell know how to do a lot of crap. Hex piping is fairly cheap. I mean, look at this stuff. It's bendable, it's easy to work with, and it's it's just great. Whenever they made this, it was so it was so easy to do plumbing. It just like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but these are about three or four dollars a piece from the big box stores. They run about like, I don't know, 10 feet long or so. Easy to work with, easy to cut, and they We're don't- here trying to show you guys a little niche. I haven't, put on the perfect coat yet. We're not done there. So these are the LED lights. You got the two in the wall. 
This is the switch I installed, so when I turn that on, turn that off, it turns on all the LED lights. I'm gonna have four of these guys. You see how they're changing colors? It actually came with a remote, and you can change the colors that way, or you can also change it. came with an IC chip that's hidden inside the wall, and you can control it with your phone. So these four lights right here, with that extension cord that you can see right there, is gonna run all the way around, and there's gonna be a shelf in the wall right here um, with four lights check my channel so after you see this video i should have it done make sure that you have leveling tools if you don't have leveling tools don't try to install a tub yourself you don't know what you're doing just go away just kidding just uh, make sure you use a level you see what i did perfectly level perfectly level got the two screws in here right here holding the tub i had to pre-drill that so you're going to pre-drill it and underneath here, when I do get it where I want, I'm gonna put a two by four right across there. And then it's gonna make sure it's gonna be level. That way it's sitting on a ledger board. Some people put mortar underneath your tub. You can use shims. That way when you go to lay it down, it will just sit on it. And when you got it level, the mortar will end up drying. And that way you got a good solid surface as I'm standing in the tub. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, over here, I'm gonna talk this, about. I haven't cut this out yet. And so when I go and cut this piece out right here, the tub will actually drop a little bit lower, about a half inch. So those spots are not permanent. I'm gonna re-level it because the, this should be sitting on the subfloor. If people don't know what subfloor is, it's this floor right down here. It's wood. That's so awesome. these Kohler tubs, if, you're, if you like the tub design or whatever, this one's just pretty much plain but modern. It was about like $1,040. I picked it up off Lowe's.com. Home Depot sells it also. They have a slotted drain system. So it's a little different than what you're used to. This kit I picked up on eBay for, I think it was 99 bucks for brushed nickel. It was an open box, but everything is there and it looks perfect. It comes with a really nice um, pop-up drain thing. And this is the slotted drain that you're gonna get. And then this is your cover plate. Real easy to install, instructions came in there. Make sure you use silicone, and you're gonna silicone the, this side right here. So when if you're not using silicone, <sighs> I don't recommend it because if you end up getting a leak, you gotta tear the whole tub off. So put the silicone on the back of the gasket, and when you press it on, that's when you go to install it. Same thing over here, when you go to install this, Yes, it has a rubber gasket with it and it goes on the back side, but you're gonna silicone it between the tub and the and the gasket. That way when you go to seal it, even if it's loose or something like that and it's not tight, it's still gonna dry up and then you will not have any loose. So you can see where I marked it. The reason I haven't showed you guys this because I'm not at that point. Tomorrow I will be, but I've already made the video. So I marked where my drain's gonna be right here. And that's where I'm gonna connect my drain to that piece right there. This is the old drain, you can see what it looks like. So pretty much I'm just copying what's going on here, real easy, but I got all the new stuff here. Pretty simple if you buy these kits right here and you have a slotted drain or not, you could just still purchase these kits that are available on eBay, I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So that's about it. This is where I would add that rubber boot where I could move it left or right. Also, if you're buying a 30 inch tub and you had a 30 inch tub this way, you're probably not gonna have to mess with the drain. It will be where it is. But if you buy a 32 inch tub and width, the uh, drain will be in a different area, probably about one inch over this way. So I'm gonna talk about the distance that's here. I am gonna fill this in. That way when I put my backer board on, it sits right here over that. So I need to bring this wall out because if I go to try to put the backer board on, you'll have like a, if that makes sense, a little hill right there. So you don't want that when I go to tile this. You might see some slow pex crimping tool. You could pick one up on Amazon for about $22, or you could buy one from like a big box store. They charge you about 60. They just like to price gouge on some things. But as you can see, I like to shop where I get the lowest price, but also a good quality product. So this is so easy to use. Right, so. I'm not actually doing this right now. I'm just doing this to show you guys. I put a clinch ring on here. You slide the uh, PEX, um, whatever piece you're gonna use, elbow or whatever the hell it might be. 
Sorry, I got one hand on this and one hand on this. So when you have that slid in right here, this is all you do. You see the jaws on this thing? It just comes and clenches down. And if you like don't have the power to do it, it will not let you release it until it locks all the way because it clenched it where it needed to be. So all you do is put the jaws on there and I would go and clench this all the way down. It would lock on it and you would not get a drip from that thing. So if you've ever sweated pipes, that sometimes you get a leak and then you gotta go start over and that really sucks. But this is 100%. Really recommend using PEX um, accessories. And I think I paid like 30 bucks or something, $32 for 100 pieces of this. And this will last me forever because I'm sure as heck not gonna use that many. Also, they do make plastic joints and stuff where they're cheaper, but you got a little bit slower water flow because brass is able to have a thinner wall and the plastic ones that they make have a lot thicker wall where you get a little bit slower water flow. And this is my home, so I am gonna go a little bit more expensive and use quality. Okay, so I think I've gotten to as far as I can get with explaining things to you, can't think of anything else um, until I'm done with the video. So let's turn this light on. That's about it. I think I got it for you guys. Um, all I ask is give me a thumbs up for making the video. You don't gotta subscribe, nothing like this that. The shower I actually built, and I did make a bunch of YouTube videos on this. Um, so if you look up Cooper Salmo, how to build a shower, you'll see that. Got the toilet off eBay. The reason I'm telling you where I got everything from is because everybody's gonna ask, where the hell did you get that from? Now I don't have to tell you guys where I got it from in the comments shower thing over here. I did take the tile all the way up to the ceiling. I'm gonna do the same thing over there. It's just something that they do now. I guess it's supposed to be some modern look. But got the toilet off eBay. I think that was like 500. Wayfair, that was about 120. This is nice because you could put your towels in there and stuff or whatever else you want. Wall mounted vanity was about a thousand. I think you could still find these on Wayfair. Really nice quality, happy with this sucker. Just make sure when you put it in, they give you these little hooks to like hang it on. I added extra lag bolts into the wall just in case. I got kids that might climb up here. Also the uh, LED light, same thing with the deck light that I talked about in the beginning of the video. This switch right here with a hidden transformer inside of the wall activates these two lights with the niche I made and also the niche in the shower over here. So that's real nice. Make sure to put a slope on your where the water hits it, it'll slope down. Make sure that you use a level. It's just a quarter inch for every 12 inches. Same thing as your shower curb right here. If you're gonna take on putting in a shower pan, really difficult. You better be experienced and do your research. Uh, it can be difficult. So I think that's about it. 